sunset on the Philippine island of Sikihu. Humans are not evolved for the night. We are diurnal animals with big eyes and visual systems evolved to operate during the day. We're still going to go for a night dive. Why is that? Isn't that threatening and scary? In fact, it's highly meditative and a lot of animals will come out which would have been eaten by fish equally evolved for the day like us let's see what we see what a sunset the best i have seen at least one amazing animal we saw is the wonderpus i made a separate video for this great great find you can see it hunting Check out the video, I linked it. But this was by far not the only animal we observed at night in Sikihua. Corals bring out their polyps at night. They're feasting on plankton. These huge colonies of tiny reef builders gorge themselves. Here we have a crocodile snake eel, a curious fish which spends most of its time with most of its body buried in the sand. Should a small fish come by its large mouth with its pointy teeth, the small fish's life will end there and the crocodile snake eel will have a meal. Nidibranchs, sea slugs, there were so many different ones of these. A massive adaptive radiation has taken place in the waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. I believe it's the differences in what they feed on, which sponge or algae or tunicate they feed on, which has given rise to so many species. This is actually a pleurobranch. It's a sea slug related to the nudibranchs. But not quite the same thing. The bigger one of these are the size of a volleyball, unusually large for such mollusks. We saw dozens of them and these two were even mating. I believe the technical term is a pleurophag. These are hermaphrodites. Male and female animals at the same time. You can see the pseudopenis where they inject the gametes into each other in the center. A pair of rare dwarf lionfish traveling the reef together looking for food. The dorsal fin spine of these are venomous. It wouldn't kill you to touch them, but it would probably send you to the hospital for a day of unpleasant swelling. What pretty animals. Like on land, in wasps and spiders. The warning colors tell you about the venomousness. Immoral. Look at the nostrils of this fish. This again is a nocturnal hunter, mainly guided by olfaction. The tube in the nostrils, I believe, give it the ability to smell in a directionally sensitive manner. It can tell where the fish comes from. What is this? It's changing color. Take a look at the eyes, they're on the right. This is a bumblebee squid, a tiny, tiny cephalopod, a relative of the octopi. Admittedly, it didn't like my video light very much, so it decided to bury itself in the sand. You can see how it's wiggling around, it's changing its color, and it's also using its arms on the right side to shovel more sand onto its back. Sorry, Mr. Bumblebee Squid. 
I didn't mean to interrupt your nights. Also look at these thunderstorms of tiny crustaceans. This is what feeds all that biodiversity. And biodiversity of flatworms was another thing which impressed. These are not nudibranchs, these are not mollusks. They're an animal film on their own. I believe a lot of these are also really poisonous. If they strike in colors and ingesting them wouldn't do any fish very good. Again, the number of species seen on the reefs of flatworms was quite stunning. At night they come out. Is this a flatworm? No. This is a fish, a flatfish, which mimics a flatworm. What a clever strategy. Yet another flatworm. At that point, the shrimp storm was intense. Shrimp. So many different shrimp. This is a marvel shrimp, Saron. I'm very excited about this footage actually. These ones are rare, they're beautiful and rare. And uh, they only come out at night usually, and you don't see them in a lot of places. Sikihu has a lot of these. This one decided to retreat from my camera and video light, but it gave me a couple of seconds to film it. Look at this gaudy pattern on the carpus of this shrimp. Here it is again in a close-up. What a beauty. More crustaceans. This crab was feeding on the plankton, on the dense, dense clouds of tiny animals all around it. It probably had a pretty good night and ended it with a full stomach. So why do we night dive? To see all of this. Most night dives are good, but the ones in Sikihua were especially stunning. So much comes out of the reef. I hope you enjoyed this. Check back next week. More footage from Sikihua. Have a good one.